everyone. Today we will have the longest side, largest angle conjecture. So this conjecture tells us that the opposite of the longest side is the biggest or the largest angle. And the opposite of the shortest side is the smallest angle. So just a reminder about the word opposite here. Opposite means across. So looking at this example right here, we are supposed to find which angle is the largest. So we're given the sides 7, 9, and 10. It follows that whichever is the biggest. This, this is telling us that whichever is the longest side across from it is the largest angle. So 10 is the biggest side or the longest side over here. So this angle Q, which is across from 10, is actually the largest angle. So I can go ahead and say this is angle Q. Now on the next um, exam, I mean on the next problem right here, we're supposed to determine the angle that is the smallest angle. So the smallest side across from it would be the smallest angle. So the angle that is the smallest here is R because seven is the shortest side. So this is letter R right here. Now let's try the next one here. This is the other way around. So we are given the angles and we need to determine which sides which of the three sides is the longest and which of these three sides is the shortest. So we start with the longest first. So uh, the biggest angle will have the longest side. So since uh, the, this is 50, 60, and 70, 70 is the, uh, the largest one. So across from it is the longest. So that would be WE. So line segment WE is the, uh, the longest side. The shortest side is across the smallest angle, 50, so that is ER, is the shortest side since 50 is the smallest angle. At this time, I would encourage you to pause this video and try these two problems out on your own. And when you're done, and pause it and check your answer. Okay, we go over this. So again, the, uh, the largest angle is across the longest side. So 21 right here. So angle Y is the largest angle because that is 21 is the longest of all three sides. Which side is the small, which angle is the smallest? So the smallest angle will be opposite to the shortest side. So 13 is the shortest here. So it's angle T that will have a smallest angle. Did you get the same answer as this? Good. Perfect. Let's move on to the next one here. Now, others may have a uh, thought of like, oh, we are missing this angle right here. Remember, we are supposed to use the um, uh, sum angle sum theorem that the sum of all the angles inside the triangle is 180. So we can go ahead and solve for angle T. So that would be um, 34 plus 85 plus angle T is equal to 180. And so if we do the math here, this should be equal to 61. So again, there is a separate video for this, how to find the, uh, how to find the missing angle of a triangle. I will put that, uh, the link of that video in the description box below. So this is actually 61. So if you do the math on that, again, please, uh, you are more than welcome to go back and see that video, um, how, we, how I got the 61. So from here, which side is the longest? So the longest side is across the largest angle, which is 85. So that should be AT. Now others are gonna say, can I write TA instead of AT? Yes, it doesn't matter. So, and then the shortest side here is across the smallest angle, which is 34. So that should be TE. Did you get the same answers as this? Good, perfect. If you find this video helpful, hit like and subscribe for more math videos. See ya!